So, welcome, guys, to Gerola. And uh, it's great to be here with you. It's uh, an honor. And uh, tell me about uh, how is it? I know it's um, about playing in front of your own audience, in, uh, our own nation, but. How is it like to play in front of the Italian people compared to the uh, the rest of, uh, of the world, of uh, European and the others? Who wants to answer? <laughs> <laughs> Who speaks better than <laughs> Valerio? Uh, I don't know. I, it's always great because we, we have the chance to play in front of people who really enjoy Genesis mm -hmm. music, so it's always great. And everywhere is different, but in a good way, so be in Italy, you know, it's our country, so of course it's, uh, I don't know, I cannot say better, but it's really warm when we can play here. So yeah. Sometimes they are very polite, they just uh, want to sit down and listen without uh, apparently having fun, but, <laughs> <laughs> <Apparently>. <laughs> but I hope they are happy. <laughs> we hope it. Yeah. And um, I guess you start, started to play when, uh, when you were very young. And um, how did you get to have this passion for the prog music? And uh, how is it like being on a tour life, always busy, and stuff like that? Uh, um, myself, for example, um, yeah, I've been studying piano and keyboards since I was very young. And then, uh, I started listening to 70s music uh, from my elder brother who came home with the uh, first uh, vinyls of the Beatles and uh, Pink Floyd and Genesis. So I started to, to listen to this kind of music and uh, well after listening to Genesis you, you can't fall in love with that music. Discovering something magical uh, for for a keyboard player as I was and and a singer, so it was kind of having the life changed after the first listen. That's good. And so we are all, I, I, including myself, we are all friends of a great uh, Steve Hackett. Uh, so how is it like being around? Um, famous musicians and how is it uh, to handle the fame? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Giorgio, let us Giorgio. know. How is it like it handling the fame? fame? Oh, it's a <laughs> thing. Uh, we, uh, as you know, we are friends of uh, this uh, wonderful guy and uh, it's always, always a pleasure sometimes uh, we, have, uh, we can meet him uh, in different situations and it's a nice, nice thing. And, uh, he also have been um, at some of our gigs in the past, and uh, it was very, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, I also but saw he recommends you to the other yeah, people yeah. in the world because he, he likes you and uh, he, he, li he likes to see your performances. I also recommend and him, and yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, um, thinking about this, do you have any um, uh, particular uh, memories, uh, musical or uh, personal, that uh, you would like to share with me and uh, with, those, uh, with uh, the other fans also. Yeah, for example, when I saw the picture of Giorgio and Steve uh, performing together at his place, they mm -hmm. were playing guitars uh, in the same planes where we were used to mix our albums, so it was very <laughs> funny to <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, me too. He, he, I, I think he's a... He's a very nice guy as well, also because I, I have met him uh, uh, a lot of times, and I always get to see his concerts. When he comes here, I also went to to England with a friend to see him perform, and uh, it's always a, a great, a great experience. Absolutely. Yes, and um, uh, what what kind of um, I mean, what kind what what kind of advice uh, would you like to give to him? The, no, no. <laughs> would you like would yeah. you like to give to uh, the people, uh, especially especially the young people who first approach uh, the musical world, uh, 
what would you like to say and what what would you like to say about yourself, your experience, how did you approach music? I think music? that we, we've been very lucky because we can perform the music we love and uh, this is not easy in a uh, musician's life. So perhaps our advices are a bit, you know, from a kind of very lucky perspective. So. So, for for example, if if some guy wants to uh, become uh, a musician, what would you like to say? I mean, what's your advice? I would say to him, study a lot. I study a lot, yes. Study <laughs> really a lot, and uh, he's a teacher. So <laughs> ah, great. <laughs> yeah, but also I, I study a lot of hours. Well, now a bit less, but and uh, don't be afraid to to work a lot because sometimes when you're young, you think that you can do everything very easily and uh, also try to be modest, humble, you know, because uh, you're n you always have to think that uh, you have to learn a lot of stuff from the others. You, and so you have to, I think you should have that, that kind of approach. Especially don't, don't be afraid to move yourself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and to stay away, away from yeah. your house a lot of hours, a lot of days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And don't underestimate anything because yes. uh, you never you never know which gig can bring you to and then and then, yes. and then accept to be a nerd for the rest of your life speak for yourself so if you, <laughs> if you get used since you know, since you are very very young this will be easier in the, mm. in the years to follow and what what is your uh, your favorite work uh, by yours, I mean, among mm. your... The uh, next, always the next. The next. next. Yeah. Always the next. Good. And uh, I don't want to <laughs> waste much of your time, but in, in conclusion to this, uh, thank you, thank you for, uh, for giving me uh, your time. <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure. And, uh, <laughs> no, it's a pleasure for me and it's an honor, but uh, I would like to um, close this interview with uh, pretty much something that is out of, uh, of the music. It's uh, something that is mm, very, very personal, that touches <laughs> my heart and maybe the hearts of other, other people. And um, we know today, we know today is uh, January 27th, and uh, it's uh, the commemoration day of, uh, of the Shoah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, what, mm, what kind? Uh, I mean, uh, many. Ma in my opinion. Many, many people call it the Holocaust, but if we think of the origin of the word Holocaust, it's a Greek word which indicates the sacrifice of, uh, of animals, and after that they were burnt on the, on the pyres. Well, if we would use the Jewish word Shoah, it, it mean, literally means annihilation, destruction of the people of uh, Israel. So. Well, <laughs> I, I really feel it is wrong to call it Holocaust because it, it is a, it is if it's like comparing human beings to animals and uh, the people are not animals. So, what kind of uh, message would you like to address to uh, the Jews and to the other people? That this is a very big, uh, very big mm -hmm. question for small people. <laughs> <laughs> if, we are. if I can answer it just my point of view, uh, when this day of the year come along, I take my time to think uh, not only to Jewish people, of course. Uh, yes, we, uh, we know that also many other ethnicities yeah, uh, were, were included, yes. Uh, Native Americans, yes. or uh, South Americans. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Armenian people, uh, yes. everybody in the, in the, in the East. World. So yes. I, I take the chance to think about uh, everything that, that happened in the past. And, and they still keep on happening. I mean, yeah, that, that's in this good. world, that's, we, we can see bad, a yes. lot of uh, But lot we of are hate. playing rock and roll, uh, and Play we, we bring joy to people. Yes, of course. Mm, I believe try to bring joy to people. I believe also music is a very big way, an important way to unite. Yeah, probably yes. in front of music, uh, we are all together. We are all at the same level. We are all uh, the same. So there, there are no differences. Yeah, I also, 
I also believe that um, every day is a celebration, so <laughs> we should just be thankful every day for being alive and for being mm. able to do what, what we love and also sharing it uh, with, uh, with all the others. So I believe it's not just one day that brings back all the memories. I believe it's every day. Every day we should be celebrating just for everyone here. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you for uh, for uh, for being here and uh, sharing. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, uh, thank you very much. Much love and uh, keep on keep on rocking. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>